That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Let's do this video now. <laughs> <laughs> Before someone shows up. <clears throat> Welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Today we are going to be talking about heels. 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 Like heels. these things. Those this, ones. This, this that thing. Calcania. And, and that one right there. And and Calcania. No. So guys, <laughs> heels. <laughs> uh, we haven't really been talking about our bodies very much recently. So, or for like a couple of months I'd say. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do a little section here, but... The thing I want you guys to think about with your heels is we had talked about the four corners of the foot and how like use it, pressing into all four of those evenly will give you a stable f or <laughs> footing. But, <laughs> <laughs> but in a lot of your yoga poses, uh, we don't think to really press through the heel. That's oftentimes the place where people are not thinking to really press into. And that gives you a lot of stability, a lot of support from the back of your leg, it seems to also actually lock your, in a sense, kind of bring your leg up into your hip and kind of lock it in place in a, in a healthy way. So in pretty much all of your yoga poses, if you do think about just like bringing some energy through that heel a little bit and just pressing it out a little bit, it does connect your leg to your hips more and bring you a lot more proprioception, awareness of the leg, awareness of your hips, awareness of how the two are working together when you're on your mat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, one tip I would ask you guys to bring onto your yoga mat and see what happens when you're in, I mean, warrior poses, when you're in headstand, when you're in all sorts of different postures, any of them really. Mm -hmm. Just think about bringing some energy down into those hips and see what, or the heel and see what happens. Yeah, and, and I mean, your heel is in line with the rest of your leg, so it's very natural very natural sort of a feel and actually can can alleviate some tension especially in like your calf and in, in your shin Maybe. muscles I'm not really mm -hmm. sure what this is called but because um, if you're if you're putting a lot of weight on like the ball of your foot or the front half of your foot there's there's muscles in your particularly in your in your shin calf area that have to compensate for that so so putting it pressing it through your heels will help distribute that that force that energy through the rest of your leg so it's kind of a, an antidote to sitting in chairs, too. It's the forgotten part of our leg when we're sitting in chairs. When we get up, the front part's a lot more used, but yeah. There you go. So let us know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, give somebody one of those, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.